What's up guys, I'm going to make this video as simple as possible. <sighs> Basically quite a few people reached, reached out to me on my stream and asked me about my PC specs and settings because of the relatively high FPS I was having and that I'm still having. Uh, sorry. Topic about this started back in the days when I had i7-8700 and RX-580. Uh, it was just weird for people to see that uh, I had like 140-150 frames on breakthrough with that. And 200 plus frames on, on Hamada for example, like constantly 200 plus. Then I had the, the, the stupid laptop which had like the i7-8750 and 1070, both heavily, heavily underclocked. Also some really fucking nice frames like 120, 130. And right now on i5 9600KF and the GTX 1080, I'm having like 160, 170 plus on breakthrough and not so uncommon 200 frames on conquest. And also in streaming on this 9600KF and 1080, I'm having maybe like 20, 30 frames less. So that's still like 130, 140 frames on basically all the maps on breakthrough I play and or like let's say Ara Aras some open areas 170, 180 when streaming. So for some people, not actually for some, for like a lot of people that's just doesn't doesn't make any sense you know having that fps on those pc specs so i'm just gonna stop talking shit now and walk you through some stuff in the windows uh and the video control panel that you want to change for maximizing performance not just in the beta to five but all the games basically and uh, i'm gonna walk you through some settings in the beta to five that i recommend using you don't have to but hey you can if you want to and uh, at the end of the video i'm gonna show before and after screenshots or clips or whatever just to prove the prove that uh, all of these settings we changed actually did make an impact on the game itself and that comparison will be done in the uh, in the how is it called the the practice range because practice range is basically the only consistent place in battlefield 5 that you will have same fps doesn't matter what you do you're gonna have the same fps not relative to the server because in battle 5 as we all know you can go in one server you can have 150 frames then you hop on the same map but a different server and you're gonna have like 110 with shit, shit ton of stuttering so practice range is gonna be your friend and for people who are gonna talk shit hey that's not the real life real world representative of the frames you can go suck my dick or something like that you know just go buy the i9 then and and 1080 ti and then you go, don't then you're not gonna have to worry about frames and also one small disclaimer if you expect this to change or double your frames or something like that, you know, close the video now because shit like that ain't happening unless you unless you don't physically upgrade your PC parts. So let's dive straight into the, into the video, boys. So uh, right now I'm going to walk you through the settings I told you about in the windows. So basically you want to go in like, you want to go like power, uh, choose a power plan, just press high performance. As it says, favors performance, but might use more energy. Basically, what it's gonna do, it's gonna keep your your CPU at the maximum frequency all the time. And even though the technology these days is like uh, improved, still, why the fuck would you wait like those milli, 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 milli seconds for your CPU to go from two gigahertz to like four gigahertz or shit like that? So just do that. Then go in your uh, settings, settings, go in like gaming, disable this. Record game clips, screenshots, and broadcast using game bar. Trust me, it's shit. Don't even try it. Game mode. Also shit. Doesn't do what it says. Does the opposite. Now when we, when, we, uh, when we are done with that, we're gonna go in video control panel. Go in adjust image with setting. Adjust image. Uh, what the fuck is wrong with me? Am I degenerated or some shit? So adjust image settings with preview. Use advanced. Press here. Drag the glider to the left, use advanced 3D image settings. That's it. Don't ask why do I do this if I have this. Doesn't work properly because Nvidia magic and shit like that. Manage 3D settings. Just copy this shit. As I said, I'm gonna make this as simple as possible. Copy all this, copy all this shit and uh, you should be good to go. Apply. Done. You're, you're good. Oh yeah, also I forgot. Windows security. Going to like uh, virus threat protection turn it off why because unless you are brain dead then you don't need a fucking win windows defender or don't need any un 
antivirus out there. Like, if you don't click on the Sophia that is like 3 kilometers away from you and wants to fuck you for free, or if you don't buy penis enlargement pills, then you don't fucking need antivirus. There's, that's it, you know? Just turn off that because there is a service in the in the Windows that's called Anti-Malware Service Executable that works with this setting. And guess what? Uh, it turns on while you're in the game and taxes your CPU and GPU, so fuck that stupid shit. Now when we are done with this shit, uh, I'm gonna transfer you to the in-game, show the settings there, and that's it. Let's say you did all the things I showed you to do, and you're now in the game, go in the gameplay, go in the sh share, uh, scroll it a bit down, you're gonna see share usage data. It will be on by default, just put it off. That's gonna tax a little bit of your CPU and your internet. So in the video settings, I'm gonna set it like I do. It's 60%. Field of view, 94%. ADS field of view, whatever. So ADS field of view, field of view and brightness is 100% personal, personal taste. In motion board, put it at 1% due to the, how is it called? The temporary anti-lacing removal config I showed you and uh, you just need to put it 1%. Why does it work like that? I have no idea. If you don't want to use the anti-lacing removal, then just put that 0%. That, that's it. So ADS DOF effect off, 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 off. I like to use this like this. I put that like yellowish, golden, whatever, and then just increase the vibrance of that or saturation, whatever. Go in advance. High dynamic range. I use it off since I don't have the HDR monitor. Future frame rendering is on. Okay, so graphic quality, low. Vertical sync off. If you're using DirectX 12, which I have no idea how it's gonna work for you. For me personally, work, works like shit. Gives me stuttering and unstable performance. So for me it's off and future frame rendering on. If you're gonna use direct, direct, the, um, direct X12, then use the future fr frame rendering off. That's it, simple as that. Vertical sync off, GPU memory restriction, depends. For, for example, for me personally, I use it off because I have 1080, it's like 8 gigabytes, so it doesn't really make any difference. Um, graphic settings, high fidelity object amount, put it at ultra, because if you read what it says, increases or reduces the amount of soldiers and vehicles that can simultaneously be seen with highest fidelity animations, sounds and effects. Because somebody from DICE was smart enough to put a sound option in the video section. But whatever, just put the Nutra for me personally, almost... I didn't really see any difference in frames, so just put it like that. And that's it. Let's now show the before and after results. And the last part you guys have to do is go in your Battlefield 5 installation folder, whatever. It's like, for me, it's local disk C, program files, origin games, and Battlefield 5. When you go there, make the new text document, call it user or whatever. Paste the, the, the commands I'm gonna provide you with in the, uh, in the description of this video. As you can see, some of these you might rec recognize what, what they do, some of them don't. Basically, and with this config file, you're gonna increase a little bit of FPS. You're gonna, you're gonna, you can change this. For example, you don't want to, to have maximum 500 frames. You can just like throw 144, or you can do like 120, or you can do like 200. Doesn't really matter. For the purpose of this video, I made it 500. 
even though in the real game I rarely go over 220, 230, something like that. It's not really like needed, but whatever. Draw FPS 1, that's gonna show you the FPS. Display, uh, FPS display scale. You can put this anything between 1 and like 2 or 3, 5, whatever you want. You know, basically it's gonna like make your FPS counter bigger. And other stuff increases FPS and within these commands you're gonna have the anti-lacing removal commands. And as I mentioned before, if you need it, just put the motion blur at 1% and if you don't need it, just put it at 0%. That's it. And then to save it, you're gonna go save as, you're gonna go all files and then save it as the user.cfg. Save, you're gonna close this, you have it saved, you can delete this if you want to, and you're done. All right, as you guys seen, there, were, there is the actual difference I provided you before and after results. And uh, just don't get me wrong, in the practice range there was 100, 100 plus uh, difference in frames, but in the actual game, like Breakthrough, Conquest servers, whatever, it's not gonna be that much. It's gonna be more of like 20, 30 frames, as I said in, in the beginning of the video. But uh, as he also said, the, I, there is no way I can actually consistently show the difference in frames, rather than like uh, other than other than hopping in like practice range and showing you there, because Battlefield 5, like just being Battlefield 5, is fucking inconsistent. Like in one server you're gonna get one frame, the other you're gonna get other frames and etc. So this is the only way I can show the difference. But doesn't really matter. It's you can see there is a difference. So try these settings, try this stuff. It's gonna take you like two or three minutes of your time. And and just let me let me let me know down there in the comments if, if you wanna know anything else or or if this helped you. So that's it. Till the next time guys, you have a fucking great day.